Almost every modern video game has a way of keeping track of your score. And in this case, we're going to make a variable. So in my Frogger, I'm going to go to the Variables tab and make a variable and call it Points. Now, in this case, you can see right here, let me just make it bigger screen. You can see right here that the, the actual points is going to show up right here. And we're going to leave that there for now. That's just a really simple and easy way to do that. You can see now that my finish line wasn't quite overlapping. So now it's overlapping and that works better. So I'll shrink that back down. And we're going to keep those points. And there should be some places where we add points, for instance, if we get to the finish area, and some places where we subtract points, for instance, if we're dead. So first of all, let's think about when we get to the finish area, since we just built that. And if we get to the finish area, then we should change our points by a number. Now, usually people want those points to change right away. So I'm going to make those points change first, even before the sound gets played. I'm going to change points and I'm just randomly going to give 50 points. I don't know. That sounds fairly good to me. And however, if you die or get hit by a car, then we should also change the points. And I'm going to do that also right away. And in this case, I want to take points away. So I'm going to subtract or put in negative points. And I'm just going to say 15. I, I think 15 is an interesting number. So we'll have negative 15 points if you die and positive 50 points if you make it to the finish area. So now if we go ahead and run this, I'll just make this a little bit bigger and then run it. Let's see how good of a Frogger gamer I am. Oh dear, this is bad. Uh huh. And there we go. So we've, we've played our, our cheesy sound effect. We've got our 50 points up here now. And now I'm going to try and, and oh dear. So very bad things have happened. And you can see now our points are down to 35. Now the problem is that if I stop the game, you can see I still have 35 points. And if I start the game back up again, I still have 35 points, which is not really fair to somebody who's really not a very good player. Oh dear. And so when they start playing the game, oh dear, now they're down to minus 10 points. You can see up here it says negative 10. And oh, no, 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 don't, no. Oh, goodness. And <laughs> now we've made it. But in each of these cases, when I click to start the game, it should start over at zero points. There, you shouldn't get some kind of you know, bank built up. So in order to solve that problem, we're going to go up here to where we change things. And at the very beginning of the game, when we set you are dead to zero, which says you're alive, we're also going to set the points to zero. So that when we click the green flag, oh, let me make this a little bit bigger. When we click the green flag, the points go to zero and then well if bad things happen i guess you're into the negatives again so that's the end of that one and we'll keep track of points in the simplest possible way using that